Sports Entertainment Schmig. Brought to you by Plaza Motors. We're going to start off with a couple of local Schmig stories. Yesterday, did you hear the big concert announcement? I heard John Hamm was in town. He was over the weekend for mm-hmm. the Hall of Fame, uh, Cardinals Hall of Fame induction. I guess I missed that call. Uh, Stevie Wonder is coming to Scott Trade Center on October 25th. Have you ever seen Stevie Wonder? I have not. I in, in person? He, yeah, I bet he would be a, a great show. concert yeah. to see. Tickets go on sale this Friday at noon. And also, I wouldn't normally put this in Schmig, but I really don't know where else to put it. And since I posted it yesterday on Facebook, last night, and it already had 38 shares, I'm going to tell you, there's a new restaurant coming to St. Louis. It's a restaurant I love, and it's called The Mellow Mushroom. It's a pizza place. It's going to be opening in the old Growlers on Lindbergh. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. I do know By what Helen you're talking Cheryl. about, but I'm yeah. wondering, how is this entertainment schmig? It's not. I just don't know where else to put it, and I feel like if I'm doing schmig, I'm doing stories I'm interested well, in. Why don't you say it's owned by you know some superstar? It's and then... not owned by any superstar. All right, all right. It's a delicious pizza. Okay. Get artichoke, sausage, and spinach. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay, and uh, SNL's released some of the stars that are going to be uh, hosting I this season. I saw one of them. The biggest news, of course, Tracy Morgan uh, is coming back to SNL. He'll be on the October 17th episode, and he tweeted, stoked to be going home, hashtag SNL. Uh, Some other announcements. Miley Cyrus is going to do the season premiere on October 3rd, and Amy Schumer is going to be making her hosting debut the following week. All right, now I heard Daryl Hammond is coming back. Is that right? That's also uh, a possibility. Oh, as a a cast member. Well, yeah, because of the Trump thing. Yes. Right? To play play Donald Trump. Nobody does Trump like he does. But he he may gain a job there and lose a job uh, with KFC. I know you hate Daryl Hammond. Oh, no, no, I, d- as, I don't. No, as Cur- you don't like the Colonel Sanders Well, it's kind of a goofy thing. They I mean, make me know. laugh a little bit. A lot of people don't like him. A lot of people think it's creepy. Well, he's out. I don't really know the whole story here, but he's out and now playing Colonel Sanders, just doing his regular voice, is Norm MacDonald. It's come to my attention that there's an imposter colonel out there. He's trying to be me. That's crazy. They can't just grab some super funny Hollywood actor, throw a white suit on him, and try to pass him off as the real Colonel Sanders. <laughs> well, he tries to do a little Southern kind in there. Of. It's terrible. I Norm McDonald is very likable to me. I do like him. Do you remember when we had him in the studio? Was he terrible? He wasn't terrible. Man, I don't he, remember at all. He had just outrageous B.O. Oh, did he? Yeah. And his teeth are funky. <laughs> what else? I, I don't know. Nothing, oh, I really. Do. You know what? I don't know if I was with you when we had him in studio, but is that when he was doing Bob Dole? Yes. And he held the pen the whole time? He did, yes, exactly. He was never out of character? Never. It was kind of odd. Uh, and yesterday, Kathy Lee Gifford came back to the Today Show after yeah. the passing oh. of her husband, Frank. She had an eight-minute just an eight-minute segment where she just got to talk. I saw it. It was unbelievable. She kept her composure, but, man, what amazing stuff she had to say about her life with Frank. Here's a little piece of that. We will miss him so much. We all keep expecting him to come around the corner. (laughs) I keep expecting him to go, you know, what time is church? (laughs) He passed away instantly that morning, all dressed in what he knew was my favorite outfit, white shirt. Mm-hmm. Very tight black jeans. He knew he looked good. <laughs> Having his coffee, watching his TV, getting ready to go, ready for church, and excited about what we're going to have for lunch. Mm-hmm. And so I thank the Lord for that, for his grace to us as a family. And I pray his grace on all of you as well. Thank you. Wow. That is beautiful. Yeah. That's a, uh... And really getting back to work and laughing with her friend Hoda. I don't know if they're really friends. They seem like they well, get along They get along to me. great. And what's so bizarre is Frank passed away on Hoda's birthday. So that, well, I, I would mean, never talk to Hoda again. Yeah, well, but, I mean, it, it was, you know, I mean, you could just see how Hoda just, you know, just she was just emotional throughout the entire thing. But sure. it was it was incredible to watch Kathy Lee do that for Frank. And if you're wondering what Jon Stewart's next big gig will be, well, it's going to be at the WWE SummerSlam. Uh, that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. He's he's a big wrestling fan. He is. Really? He, is. Mm-hmm. he was on earlier this year, and he got in a beef with I saw the Seth, video. Seth Rollins. He, didn't he kick somebody? and then He then kicked Seth in the groin. In the nether, nether regions. That's right. He's going to be on this coming Sunday night. And the long-awaited follow-up to Josh Groban sings Kanye West tweets is finally here. It happened in 2011. But now in 2015, we have, from Jimmy Kimmel last night, Josh Groban sings Donald Trump tweets. You will get all the controversy. We need global warming. 
All the self-promotion. My fragrant success is flying off the shelves at Macy's, the perfect Christmas gift. All the contradiction. Macy's stores suck, and they are bad for you, <laughs> And so much more. The best tweets of Donald Trump. I'm officially running for president of the United States. Hashtag make America great again. <laughs> <laughs> and happy birthday if you're celebrating. You celebrate with Andy Samberg, who's 37. Oh, I can't even believe it. Malcolm Jamal Warner is 45. Uh, Edward Norton, 46. Uh, let's see. Oh, your favorite guy, Masta Killa. He's 47 today. Oh, the Masta uh, Killa. You know what band he's in. Uh, I do. <laughs> what is it? Uh, the, the super hip hop group. <laughs> They'd probably be angry at that title. I, I, I had a Wu Tan uh, Clan. I, oh, the the Wu Tan. It's not Tang. A I lot didn't of people say, say Tang. I know, but a lot of people do say Tang. It's tang also, is a drink. It's also orangutan. I I know mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But people say orangutan. They do that, and I would not want to have Tang from that. And happy birthday to Robert Redford, seventy nine. That's oh, entertainment. Still gorgeous. Sh- <laughs> He's <really good>. okay. <laughs> um, that's entertainment. Schmig, another edition at eight forty, and later online in video form at y98.com.